All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown. All three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Now, today I'm going to be reviewing... Talking God by Tony Hillerman. This is book number nine in his Lephorn and Chi Navajo Tribal Police mystery novel series. Um, I have reviewed books one through eight in this series. In fact, I've got the entire Tony Hillerman mystery series right up here. We'll pan through the library and I'll show you them right there. There's the Tony Hillerman collection. Anyway, um, this is book number nine in the series, one of my favorite mystery series of all time, set down in southern Utah, northern Arizona, the Navajo Tribal Police. This book came out in 1989. Um, starts off with a bang. Um, well, let's talk about the cover first, because you know I love graphic design and cover illustration. One of the things I like about this series is all the covers have a similar theme where they've got the um, Native American, uh, you know, designs here, and then it wraps around. It's just really cool. All of them are really cool. They've got all these little trinkets and, and little things on them and little nice. But we've even got the Washington Monument over here, which this, this book does take us on a journey to Washington, D.C. Briefly, not really. It's about, it takes place 80% on the... Uh, uh, in the uh, in the part of the uh, Southwest that we love to read. That's why I love reading these books. Tony Hillerman does a, such a great job of describing what this Southwest is like. I grew up in Southern Utah. I know. I know. He does it perfectly. So anyway, this bu book starts off with a bang. Catherine Bailey. She's Catherine Bailey is a museum coordinator, and she gets a box in the mail, and she opens up the box. It's a bigger box, and it's got bones in it. Uh, which isn't unusual because she uh, she's a museum curator and a lot of they got a lot of artifacts and things in the museum. Anyway, she's digging through the and she gets to a note in the box and she finds out that the bones in the box ha were actually taken from a um, a cemetery, a church cemetery where only white people were ever buried. In fact, it was taken from the church cemetery where her grandparents were buried. In fact, the bones are the bones of her grandparents. With a note that says something to the effect of, um, hey, you white people dig up Navajo bones all the time, put them in museums, disrespect them in a lot of ways, build parking lots over the graveyards. So I thought it would just be fair if I dug up your grandparents' bones and mailed them to you so you could put them in a museum too. Well, the cleverness of all of it, you know, point taken is what she was, but she was also horrified. You know, um, now the main culprit, the main person they think that mailed these to her is a um, guy named Henry Highhawk, who is a Smithsonian conservator. He is to blame. He is one quarter Native American, one quarter Navajo, and he has tried for years to get the Navajo Nation to, um, he wants to join the Navajo Nation and has been trying and trying for a while. So they think that it's him that's done this. And then in jumps our um, main two characters, Lieutenant Lephorn and Sergeant Chi, and Lephorn Meanwhile, he finds a body out by the railroad track, and there's no apparent cause of death to this body. Um, uh, uh, Sergeant Chi, uh, he, um, uh, he's dealing with some other kind of things going on in the Nav Navajo community that are dealing with a suspicious stuff involving these talking gods. I mean, we get to, uh, it ends up, all of this ends up, because, you know, the Smithsonian is in Washington, D.C., our two investigators. We end up with a trip to Washington, D.C. We, we end up with a, uh, a tale of uh, superstition, um, ancient Native American ceremony, along with possibly gods living here on Earth with us. And uh, it's just kind of one of those 
One of the things about these Tony Hillerman novels is he does not shy away from magic and the supernatural. Which, if you've ever been in the desert southwest, or if you know anything about these Native American communities, they believe heavily in the supernatural and different gods and talking gods and skinwalkers and all sorts of different i mean just it goes on and on and on and on the mythology that's been created through the generations of of uh and uh and it just if you've ever stood in the desert southwest amongst the big red rock cliffs and if you ever stood there you can feel you can literally feel this magic in the air i mean it's just it's it's ever present and Tony Hillerman does a great job in these books of explaining that why that is. He gives you the atmosphere of it right up front in every scene. And it's, they're just very chilling mysteries where you don't know what is real, what is not real. Are these talking gods real? What's going on and why? What's happening? I mean, it's always a human, a human mystery wrapped in a supernatural enigma. And they're all 10 out of 10. These books are all 10s out of 10s. I love each one of these. There's like little gems. Little gems. So Talking God, 10 out of 10.